Topsy, Tim, can you come up and help, please? Okay, Dad. Dad wants us to help him with our bunk beds. Tony Welch and his mum and dad will be here soon to collect them. Yeah. Wow, our bedroom looks really strange. It doesn't look like our bedroom anymore. Well, by tonight, you'll have a new bedroom. One each. Yes! <laughs> I love our bunk beds. Tony Welch will love them too. <laughs> Dad, mm -hmm. please may I keep this sticker from the bunk bed? Yeah, that's a good idea, Tim. Topsy, why don't you choose a sticker to keep too? Excuse me, please, Dad. Okay. I'll have this butterfly sticker. Okay. I'll look after them for you. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Right, better get these downstairs. And remember, you can stick your stickers on your new beds in your new bedroom tonight. I can't wait! <laughs> But it isn't Tony Welch at the door, it's the removal people. Wow, that's huge! It's all black. Today, all of our furniture is going to be put into this removal van. Better ask Sid, let's go. And then Sid and Lorna will drive it all to our new house. Can we come up, please, Sid? Yes, you can, come on. There we go. Up to it. Up we go. <laughs> on the back. Hmm. Will all of our furniture fit in here, Sid? Uh, yes, Tim, it will. Hmm. We'll start by getting our toys for you. Thank you, Topsy and Tim. Come on. Oh, yeah! Come on, Tim! Here we go. Find your I bring all of my favourite toys downstairs and put them in the trolley, ready to go to the removal van. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, everyone. Hi, Gary. Oh, hi, Tim. Hi, make way for the bunk bed, please. Hello. We brought you a present. Oh. The blueberry muffins. <gasps> oh. Thank you, Carrie. Can I have one, please? Of course you can, once we finish packing. Thank you. <laughs> we should make some more so I can have one, Mummy. Mm, we <laughs> should. Well, we better get going, cos we're going to wave you off later. I'll wave goodbye to... See you later. I'll wave goodbye later, Tim. Bye. OK, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Have you got all your toys, Tim? Um, yes, Dad. I've got all of mine and Topsy's just upstairs getting little moon bunny. Topsy, are you ready? Look at it, Teddy. Nearly everything's gone. The house is nearly empty. Our toys are ready to be driven to our new house now. Careful of little moon bunny. He's right on the bottom. Now he's on the top. <laughs> With Eddie Caddy and Dr. Sausage. Yeah. Come on, Tim. Thank you, Topsy and Tim. Can I just say, you two have been the biggest help today. Moving house makes me feel happy and sad. At the same time, Dad. And me. Me too. Tea break, everyone. <gasps> Good. Dad has a cup of tea on the front lawn. Then pretends to fall asleep in the armchair. <laughs> Wake up, Dad. <laughs> Dad, were you asleep? No, I was resting my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I'll just get the screws for the bunk bed. It's heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, I'm here. Tony Welch. Hey. Hello, 
Tim. Hello, Topsy. I plan to collect your bunk beds. <laughs> Are you going to sleep on the top or the bottom bunk? I don't know. I think I might sleep on the top bunk. Good choice. Help me lift this, Tony. Oh, and what do you say? <laughs> Thank you for the bunk bed, Stopsy and Tim. Oh, it's OK. It's very kind of you both. Stopsy and Tim, come inside, please. <laughs> we need to say bye-bye to our house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We went back inside one more time and we said goodbye to every room. Now we just need to say goodbye out here. Bye house. Bye garden. Bye front door. We will miss you. We've had some great times in this little house, haven't we? Yeah. But we're going to have even more <laughs> wonderful adventures in our new house. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Everyone ready to go? Yes. 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 Come on. Bye, house. Bye. 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 Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Oh, hello, Mr Fishwick. Hello and bye-bye, Mr Fishwick. I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. I hope that's OK, Brian and Joy. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr, Mr. Fishwick. Fishwick. Thank you. My pleasure. Can we keep him, Dad? Please, Mummy. Please, double please. And that's when Dad said, Yes, you can keep the rabbit. Yes, you can keep the rabbit, Topsy and Tim. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fishwick told us all about it. So the rabbit's food and hutch are already at our new house. <laughs> He's wiggling his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr Fishwick. Mind your fingers. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Come and visit us in our new house soon. We will. Here we go. And that said, everyone, was that? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we were moving house. Can you remember what Mr. Fishwick gave us as a moving house present? Was it a rabbit or was it a guinea pig? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a rabbit. Watch this. Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hello and bye bye, Mr. Fishwick. I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. I hope that's OK, Brian. Yes! A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr Fishwick. Fishwick. Thank you. My pleasure. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. Oh. Do you want to biscuit, Mossy? I think she knows where they are. Look, biscuit. Get in it, Tim. Sit. Sit, Mossy. Get down, Mossy. Ready and tick. 
Now, Tim, please wash your hands. Oh, yes. Mummy's gone out, so Grandma's looking after us. Carrie, Ray and Tony Roach are here, and we're all playing with Mossy the dog. So what do you want to play next with Mossy? Let's play doggy football outside. Oh, she loves playing in the garden. Yes, let's play fetch with her ball. Oh, we could teach her some tricks. Uh, I know. Doggy racing. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> what what do you want to play, Mossy? Mossy? Where's Mossy? Oh. Mossy? Where is she? Where's she oh. Mossy? Shh, shh. Did you hear that? It was coming from that big box. Oh, it's Mossy! <laughs> Oh, she was hiding in the big box. <laughs> she was playing hide and seek. That's <laughs> what we should play hide and seek. Yay! I love playing hide and seek. <laughs> we going to play hide and seek. Yay! Really? I'll be the first to seek mm -hmm. with Mossy. Is that okay, Grandma? Yes. Oh. Good idea. Now everybody hide. Go on. One, two, three, four. To Grandma. Come on, Mossy. You can help me find Ray and Carrie, Tony. Okay. Let's look in Mummy and Dad's room. You can't play hide and seek anymore. You're just too good at finding people. Sorry. Grandma, please can you look after Mossy for me? Yes. I'll she's... make sure she stays with me. She's just too good at finding people. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Hi, Kerry. Found you. Oh. I found Kerry for you, Topsy. Wait, but where's Ray? Oh, I don't know. I saw him running upstairs, Topsy. Oh, we're coming. Go on, Tim. Come on, Kerry. Come on. Where did Tim find you, Kerry? I was hiding in the big box, Topsy. It was such a good hiding place. I wish I'd thought of hiding in the big box. Let's go and find Ray now. OK. Uh, look everywhere. I give up. <clears throat> Me too. It looks everywhere. I know who could help. Mossy! She can help us find him. Is that OK if Mossy joins the game again, Tony? OK. Yay! Yes. Great. I'll go get her. <coughs> Mossy is the best at finding seekers, and I know her nose will help us find Ray. <coughs> Mossy leads us to the bathroom. Oh, we should have looked in the bathroom. Ray, are you in there? If I say yes, have I won? Yes. Yes, yes I am the winner. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Mossy. Let's play hide and seek again. And Ray, you can seek this time. Oh, yeah. Come on, Mossy. Come, Come on, Mossy. You can hide with me. Hey, I can't open the door. What? Will somebody help me, please? Try tickling the locky thing. Sometimes it gets a bit stiff. Doesn't it, Sam? It still mm. won't open. Oh, oh no. no, you're stuck, Ray. I'm just locked in the bathroom, but can somebody get me out, please? Don't, don't worry, Ray. I'll get Grandma to help. 
was in the bathroom and he was stuck and he tried jiggling the lock. He still can't get out. OK, all right. Oh, Ray, are you OK in there? Yes, thank you. But can you please get me out? <sighs> yes, of course I will. We'll help you, Ray. Yes, we will. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Topsy, will you go and get my toolbox, please? Yes, Mummy. So... Mummy took the handle off the bathroom door. Ah, oh, yeah, nearly there. Oops. Topsy, could you hold these screws for me? Thank you. And Tim, can you hold the handle for me? Thank you. Right, let's see if this works. Are you ready, Ray? Yes. OK. Oh, I'm out! Yay! Yay! Well done, Ray. Yes. Good. Right. Why should I put the screws? Well, give them back to me and we'll see if we can get this fixed. Mm -hmm. Oh, what an adventure. <laughs> That'll be Dad! Come on, Tim! Oh. Hello. Hey, Hello, Dad! Dad. Hey. We tell Dad about our hide-and-seek game. And that Ray got locked in the bathroom, but Mossy found him and Mummy got him out. Oh, well done, team. And well done, Mossy. And that's when Dad said, Our new house will be even bigger for playing hide and seek. Our new house will be even bigger for playing hide and seek, Topsy and Tim. I know, and we'll have a downstairs toilet and a bathroom upstairs. Yeah. So try not to get locked in those, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that said, Grandma, was that? So where else were you hiding today? Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we played Finder Seekers with our friends, but can you remember who got locked in the bathroom? Was it Carrie? Or was it Ray? Answer is Ray. Watch this. Can you hold the screws for me? Oh, thank there you. There are four of them. And Tim, can you hold the handle for me? Oh. Thank you. Right, let's oh. see if this works. Are you ready, Ray? Yes. OK. Oh, I'm out! Oh, yeah. Good fun. See you soon. <laughs> Keep still, Tim. It's tickling me. <laughs> Topsy and I are making cardboard cut-up twins. We're using the cardboard box our neighbour, Mr Fishwick, gave us. Nearly done, Tim. There we are. I've drawn around your whole body. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mummy? Yes, Tim? Come and see. Look at my cardboard twin, Tim. Oh, that's great, Tim. I'll cut yours out just like Topsy's twin. My cardboard twin? Yes, here we go. Looks great. Topsy's twin looks great cut out. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Hello, twin Topsy. No! 
doesn't really look like me yet. She needs a face. <laughs> I'm going to go and colour her face in. and his mum have come round to pick up our old baby basket. Ready for Tony's new baby brother to sleep in when he's born. All right, your milk's on the side, children. Come on, Elaine, let's go off and get the baby basket. This is Twin Tim. Hello. <laughs> I'm Twin Tim. Hello, I'm Tony. Tony, do you want to colour this in with me? Yes, I'm really fast at colouring in. Me too. Careful! Sorry, Topsy. Let's dance! Tim. Yay! I found you, Ooh. King Twin Tim. I think King Twin Tim wants some milk. Yay! Let's sit him in. Careful. Milk for King Twin Tim. Tony, your mum's going now. Come on. Enjoy your milk, Your Majesty. Stop, 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 stop. Bye, Tony. Much for the baby clothes and the baby basket, Joy. Oh, you're welcome. In fact, when we move, would you like Topsy and Tim's bunk beds? Really? Yeah. We'd love your bunk beds, wouldn't we, Tony? Yeah. No. You can't give our bunk beds away to Tony. Oh, Tim, you'll have separate bedrooms in the new house with a new bed each. But. You can't give them away. We'll talk about it another time. Yeah. Bye, Tim. Come on, Tony. You bye, go. Tim. Bye, Joy. Oh, bye, Tony. See you soon. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. There are bunk beds, Mum. You can't give them away. Topsy! Topsy! 
this is what Mummy said. She said that Tony World can have our bunk beds when we move to a new house. <sighs> what happened to King Twin Tim? I just knocked milk over him. I didn't mean to. Sorry, Tim. Mummy? Topsy ruined King Twin Tim. I'm sure King Twin Tim will be fine once we dry him off. Come and help me, Tim. Sorry, sorry, sorry! Topsy ruined King Twin Tim. And Mummy's giving away our bunk beds. <sighs> Mummy, why are you giving away our bunk beds to Elaine? Well, they'll need more beds when the new baby comes. I've just never slept on the top bunk before. It's not fair. <laughs> Tim! A bit later, I take Tim a biscuit to say sorry. Sorry about King Twin Tim. It's OK. Thanks for the biscuit. I like it down here on the bottom bunk. It's all cosy. I like it up here in the top bunk. It's so high. I know. Why don't we swap bunks? From yeah. tonight. Till we move house. Until Tony Welch gets our bunk beds. <laughs> OK, King Twin Tim is nearly dry, Tim. There you go. Thank you. Mummy, mm. we've decided that we want to swap bunks. Oh! From tonight. Until Tony Welch gets our bunk beds. OK, well, I think that's a really good idea, but not tonight, OK? Oh! I tell you what, if you help me tidy the bedroom, you can do it from tomorrow night. Okay? Yay! <laughs> and that's when Mummy said, Soon people will be coming to look at our house. <laughs> Soon people will be coming to look at our house. Who? What people? People who want to buy our house. And they want to come and see if they want to live here. Thank you. They would like to live in this room. I think they'd really like this room, wouldn't they? This room is very big. <laughs> it's very big and lovely, but only when it's tidy. So help me clean it up. Look! <laughs> <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was, was that. that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we made cardboard twins. But can you remember what we put on Twin Tim's head to make him King Twin Tim? Was it a sun hat? Or was it a crown? The answer is behind the cloud. The answer is a crown. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Come on, Tim. We're moving house soon, so Mummy says we should give away some of our old toys. She wants us to put old toys that we don't play with anymore into a big box. Then take them to the charity shop for other children to buy. Are you OK, Tim? No, Mummy. I don't want to give away our old toys. Oh, Tim. Come on. One step at a time. I'll help. Thank you, oh. Topsy. <laughs> OK, Topsy and Tim. Please try and find some old toys and fill up this box. I don't want to. It's not fair. We love all our toys, Mummy. Oh, please try to find some old toys that you don't play with anymore. Um, oh, you could start by looking in here, Tim. There you go. And I will come back in a minute to see how full the box is. Oh, this box is full of all my old cars. This one was always my favourite. Come on, Tim. You need to be 
putting some of your old toys in the box? I don't want to. I'm going to try. Bye bye, old Teddy. <gasps> Topsy! <laughs> Sorry, Tim. Keep on throwing the toys down and I'll catch them. Mm. Bye bye, knitted zebra. So I throw Cheeky Duck and Knitted Zebra and Digger down to Tim and all my other toys from the shelf too. Bye bye, Monkey Hen. Bye, Big Monkey. Finished. I've hidden everything, all our old toys, under the bed, so we can keep them. <laughs> can I see? Yes. <laughs> Hello, Chicky Duck. Have you finished in there, Twins? <gasps> <gasps> We're going to have to tell Mummy that we want to keep all of our old toys, Tim. I know that. Apple juice and biscuits for the workers. Oh. Why aren't there any old toys in your charity box? You say. No, you say. <laughs> We're sorry, Mummy. We hid all of our toys under the bed. We want, because we want to keep them. Oh, Topsy and Tim. You don't have to give away your old toys if you don't want to. But it would be a very kind thing if you did. Why? Well, because you don't play with them anymore, do you? And other children might like to. We're moving house soon, and that's the perfect time to get rid of anything that we don't need anymore. I've decided that my toys can go in the box. about this Topsy? Yes, I don't play with them anymore and other children might like to. Oh that's very kind of you Topsy, good girl. Tim? I don't want to give away my old cars mummy. Even though Topsy's giving away her teddies? No thank you. But someone else would love to play with your old cars Tim. Really? <laughs> How about if you chose one to keep and you gave the rest away? OK. I know exactly which car I want to keep. This one. <laughs> My fast <Good> flashing <laughs> car. <laughs> well done, Topsy. Oh, excuse me, Tim. Coming through. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. beep. where I'm going. <laughs> the charity shop are going to be so pleased with all of our old toys, aren't they? Oh, they really are, Topsy. Mrs O'Dell. Hello. I'm Robbie from the estate agent. Come to put your soul sign up. Oh, great. Thank you, Robbie. Oh, <laughs> Mummy, please may I help Robbie put the sign up? Yes, of course you can, Tim. Just stay safely on the front lawn for me. OK. Sold. Yes, sold. Somebody's going to buy your house. Did you know that? Yes, they're called Trish and Sam. We've met them and they're going to have twin babies. That looks like a good car. This is my favourite car. It goes really, really fast. Look. That is a great car. My little boy, Peter, had one just like that, but he lost it at the beach. Robbie? Yeah? Will you give this card to Peter? 
Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Today, we're giving some of our old toys away. And I want this one to be Peter's. Well, that's very kind. Tim, isn't it? Yes. Well, Tim, my little boy will take very good care of your car. And I'll make sure he doesn't lose it. Thank you. You're a very kind boy. You did it, Tim. Well done, Tim. I'll never give you away, Little Moon Bunny. Mm. Never, ever. And I'll never give you away, Dr Sausage Dog and Eddie Teddy. I love you too. <laughs> And that's when Mummy said, Soon there will be new baby twins in this bedroom. Soon there will be new little baby twins in this bedroom, Topsy and Tim, and all their toys. Oh yes, Sam and Trish are going to have new twin babies, aren't they? Mummy, I'm going to find one last old toy to leave in this room for the new babies. Oh, okay, Me too. Tim. All right, you two, but not right now. Back into bed and snuggle up. It's a great idea, Aww. and you can both do it in the morning. Right now, it's time for sleep. Night, night, twin tastic Topsy, twin tabulous Tim, and all your toys. And that, said Mummy, was that. Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we cleared out some of our old toys. Can you remember which toy I gave to Robbie? Was it Chicky Duck? Or was it my fast flashing car? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Tim's fast flashing car. Watch this. Robbie? Yeah? Will you give this card to Peter? Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Today, we're giving some of our old toys away. And I want this one to be Peter's. Well, that's very kind. Tim, isn't it? Yes. Well, Tim, my little boy will take very good care of your car and I'll make sure he doesn't lose it. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Going in a minute, Mossy. Okay. Sometimes Grandma looks after us when Mummy's at a meeting. Then, when Dad's back from work, we drive to Grandma's house for tea. <sighs> hey, Mossy dog, you hungry buns girl? Oh. <sighs> Where's that daddy of yours? He knows Mossy needs feeding. I'll go and get him, Grandma. Lovely. Dad will get you home for your tea soon, Mossy. Oh, it's OK. Only you live nearer to me. We can walk <laughs> over tea. Here you come, Topsy. Thank you, Grandma. Okay. Won't be long. Dad! 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 We need to go. Sorry, but we can't go. Yeah, but I need to find my house keys first. They could be in here. Oh, Dad, look! There are some keys. Look at these old keys. No, none of these keys are my keys. My keys are two house keys together on a key ring. But thank you, Topsy. Whirly whirly straw. I thought I'd lost that. Oh, good. Put it on top for later, please. We're in a rush. Okay. Oh. 
I can't lock the front door until I find my house keys. Oh, you help me? OK, I'll help you. Thanks, Topsy. Dad, you're always losing your keys. Hmm. Dad, have you tried looking in the coat pockets like last time? Oh, yes, good idea. Let's go. <laughs> She's hungry. Not long now, Mossy. Where are these keys? Maybe they've fallen out of the coat pocket and into the wellies. OK. Side table. I'll be with you in a minute, Grandma and Tim. What did you say, Brian? Why is your dad taking so long? Shall I go and find out for you, Grandma? Oh, yes, please, Tim. I know. Could you help me find them? Yes. Good boy. I knew where your keys would be. Where? Here. You always find stuff down the back of the sofa. Oh, yeah. Didn't Miss Maple say that at nursery school? Yes. Miss Maple found a gold ring in her sofa. It could be in here. Anything, Tim? No. <gasps> Dad, look! TV remote! It was down the back of the sofa all this time. Thank you, Topsy. But I need to find my house keys first. My plane! I found my plane we made ages ago, Dad. That's good. Meow, meow, meow. Keys? Tim, did you find my house keys? Oh, no, sorry, Dad, no keys. <sighs> Topsy? Meow, meow. Telly off. Please, Topsy. Topsy! Tim! Where is everyone? Brian! Ouch, you're hot, Mossy. Ugh. Let's see what's keeping them all. Grandma, Dad's lost his house key. Oh, not again. Poor Mossy's hungry. <coughs> Tim, take Mossy, please. Oh, OK. We could have walked home by Mossy. now. Mossy, poor doggy. Mossy, I found your ball. <coughs> Catch. Yay! Yeah. Spit it out. Spit it out, Mossy. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. Catch. <coughs> And that's when I saw something. <laughs> something really funny. Tim, look! <laughs> it's Dad's keys. Dad, we found them. We found your keys. Great, let's go. Your house keys. Where were they? Well, I was trying to get the ball mm -hmm. when it bounced inside, when I had to look behind the door, and there they were, in the front door. The keys were hanging there all the time. Silly me, that's where I left them. <laughs> Dad! Oh, sorry. Thank you, <laughs> Topsy <laughs> and Tim, for finding my keys. Let's go. Please. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on, let's go. <laughs> meow. So we all got back in the car and Grandma told Dad off in a funny way. 
You will always be my silly billy boy, Brian. But your keys are in the door all the time. If you didn't live this side of town, we, we could, could have walked, walked home, home by, by now. <laughs> and that's when Dad said... When we sell our house... When we sell our house, Topsy and Tim, I suppose we could buy somewhere nearer to Grandma. I don't want to sell our house. I do. I want to buy a new house closer to Grandma. And then we can see Mossy whenever we like. Where is Mossy? Mossy! We forgot a Mossy! Oh! I'll go and get her. <sighs> Mossy! Sorry, Mossy! <laughs> Sorry, Mossy. And that's good, Dad, was that. to us today. This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Dad lost his house keys. But can you remember where we found his keys? Were they under the sofa? Or were they in the front door? The answer is behind the cloud. The answer is, the keys were in the front door. Watch this. Catch! Yeah! yeah. Smith it out! Smith it out, Mossy! Leave it! Leave it! Leave it! Good girl! Catch! <laughs> oh! And that's when I saw something. <laughs> something really funny. <gasps> Tim, look! <laughs> it's Dad's keys! Dad! We found them! We found your keys! Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Carry your eggs carefully through to the kitchen, Topsy and Tim. Nursery was really fun today. We made dinosaur eggs out of paper and glue. Actually, mine is a triceratops egg. Oh, and is yours still a Diplodocus egg, Tim? Yes. Diplodocus dinosaurs hatch out of eggs. Oh. Just like birds and snakes and crocodiles, Miss Maple told us. Oh, wow. Well, come on through to the kitchen. Let's pop them on the table. There you go. But the egg needs a warm, cosy nest to hatch. Gosh, you have learnt a lot about eggs today, haven't you? Well done. Who wants some juice? Yes, please, Mummy. I'll get it. Oh, thank you, Tim. That means I can get the washing in. Wow, that is a big egg. Thank you, Tim. Topsy? I've got an idea. What? Maybe we could hatch a real egg. I don't think so. Look at this one. Mummy buys our eggs in the shop. They don't hatch. That's because they're too cold in the fridge. <laughs> if we make this big egg a warm nest, it might hatch. I don't think so. I'm going to try it. And so, I make a lovely cosy nest for the big egg. There you go, Eggy. Come on, Eggy. Hatch. Come, come. Hmm. Maybe you're still not warm enough. I know a place that's warm. OK, 
can hatch in our warm, airing cupboard, Eggy. I'll look after you. nest for my egg. Tim, when it hatches, will a real chicken come out? I don't know. Maybe it won't be a chicken. It was a big egg. <laughs> I wonder what will hatch out of it. Hmm. Please may I leave the table, Mummy. Yes, if you've finished. Don't forget to tidy your plate away, please. <laughs> Here you go, Eggie. A nice cheese sandwich for you to eat when you hatch. Hmm. I wonder what you'll hatch into. Maybe you're a dinosaur egg. Rawr! Can I see you, Tim? Wow, you've made the nest really good. Thank you. Topsy. Maybe that egg is a dinosaur egg. But... It's a secret. <laughs> when it hatches, the dinosaur can live under our bunk bed, Tim. <gasps> Twins! Bath time! Shh! After our bath, we brush our teeth. Straight into bed, Twins. I'll be back up to read your stories. Then we check our big dinosaur egg again. Come on, Topsy. Is it hatching? <sighs> Not yet. Oh. But look. If we put our old baby monitor into the nest like this. When our little baby dinosaur hatches in the night, we'll hear it through the other one. Good idea. Topsy and Tim, uh, into bed, please. Let's get into bed quickly and listen. Good night. Night, Mummy. Good night. Snuggly down. Sleep tight. Good night, Mummy. Tim? Not yet. Can I have a go at listening? Yeah, go. Can you hear anything, Topsy? Is the egg hatching? I don't think so, Tim. My turn, please. Thank you. We listened and listened. We didn't hear anything. And then, I think we fell asleep. Until... <coughs> the egg's hatched, Tim! I think the baby dinosaur has come out of its egg. Come on, let's go and look. Tim, do you know about this? Sorry, Mummy. It's our dinosaur egg. It was going to be our very own pet dinosaur. But it's an egg from the fridge. It's a chicken egg. I'm not happy about this. Sorry, Sorry Mummy. Mummy. Right, you two go back to bed and I'll clear this up. See? It was my idea, and it was such a big egg. No. I helped as well, Tim. It was both of us. Sorry, Mummy. All right, you two. We'll talk about it in the morning after a good night's sleep. 
Nine, nine, mummy. Now, Topsy and Tim, eggs from the fridge won't hatch. Even if you put them in a warm and cosy nest. And they certainly won't hatch into dinosaurs. Good, because I don't think I want a dinosaur as our pet. Neither do I. It would be a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> and it wouldn't fit under our bunk bed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when Mummy said, I don't, I don't think, think our new, new house will be big enough for a pet dinosaur. I don't think our new house will be big enough for a pet dinosaur, but it will be big enough for a smaller pet. We'd love a pet, <laughs> Mummy. <laughs> yes, that would be much better than a dinosaur. Yes, it would. Now, well, good night, Twintastic Topsy and Twintabulous Tim. Sleep tight. Mummy? Mm. Do rabbits hatch out of eggs? No. Night, night. And that, said Mummy, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Tim builds a nest, but can you remember what he put in the nest to hatch? Was it Little Moon Bunny? Or was it an egg? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is an egg. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. We go to Tillywinks Nursery School three mornings every week with our friend Kerry. Hi, Dominic. How are you doing? I'm all right, now. And today, we're all going to be given parts in the nursery school play. Come on, let's go. I want to know who I am in the three little pigs. Oh, of course, the play. How exciting. I want to be a little pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> Do you want to be a pig as well, Kerry? Yeah. Mommy, can oink, you help oink, me? Oink. Let me help you with your helmet. Oink, oink, there oink, we oink. go. Oink. Oink, oink. Good oinking, oink, Tim. Oink. Now let me get your helmet on. Oink, 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 oink. Here we go, oink, Tim, oink, darling. Oink. Come here. Let me get your helmet on. Good boy. Oh, you're scratching your head a bit. Is it itchy? Yeah. Oink, oink. Did you um? Did you see the email from the nursery school last week? What? Um, yeah. Oh, knits, of course. Mm, well, it just might be. Knits. Tim, put your helmet down by the kettle for me. I need to get. Mummy tells us that our teacher, Miss Maple, sent an email saying some children at nursery have nits. Mummy checks Tim's hair. If you could not itch your head for me for just a minute. I know it's itchy, but just hold off. Oh, Dominic, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, he's definitely got nits, Tim. Mm. Oh. Nits make your hair itchy. I know that. Can we go to nursery now, please? Oh, no, I'm sorry, Topsy. Until I've got rid of Tim's nits, you can't go to nursery. Oh. Topsy, has your head been itching at all? Yes, a little bit. And how about yours, Kerry? No. Mine is very itchy. That's it, Kerry. Keep your head nice and still. How did Tim get nits, Mummy? Well, nits can spread from head to head when children play together. What are nits? They're little eggs that get in your hair and when they hatch they can make your head very itchy. <laughs> All clear, Kerry. No nits for you? Yes! All right, Topsy, sit down for me. Let's have a check of your hair. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid you've got nits like Tim, Topsy. <laughs> I don't want any nits. Oh, don't worry, Topsy. I had nits when I was your age. Give them out, please, Mummy. We all did, darling. Don't worry. Really? Yeah, and it's how I know I can get rid of them. Now, don't worry, Topsy. Mummy will make everything better. Come and sit down. That's right, me. Topsy and Tim. I need to comb your hair. This is a special knit comb to get rid of nits. Right. Okay. Time to go, Kerry. Come on. Why aren't Topsy and Tim coming to nursery today? Well, they need to stay here so I can get rid of their nits so they don't pass them on to other children. Oh! It's all right, come on, 
Let's see them out. Go. But we call Miss Nursery today. What about the three little pigs? Oh, don't worry. I'll ask Miss Maypole about your parts in the play. I promise. Oh, thanks, Dominique. Okay. Dominique, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> not fair. So we don't go to nursery. We stay at home. And Mummy combs the nits out of my hair. It feels all slimy, Mummy. Why have you put hair conditioner in my hair? Because it makes it easier to comb the nits out. Sticky up your ears like the three little pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Topsy. <laughs> oh, she's still upstairs, Tim. Mummy, mm. when will Topsy come down? Well, I'll go up and get her once I've finished your hair. Hi, Topsy. What are you doing in there? We're all having carpet time, like we have at nursery school. You really wanted to go to nursery school today, didn't you? Yes. Will we still get our parts in the play, even though we're not there? Miss Maypole will make sure you still get a part. You'll see. Now, come on. I want little moon bunny. OK, you get little moon bunny. There you go. Girl, and then let's go and get rid of those nits so we can get you back to nursery school tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> I'm nearly there, Topsy. It's taking ages. Well, your hair is longer than Tim's. <laughs> Watch me! <laughs> I've put on some special nip music. Dance for Topsy. <laughs> I do a nip dance. All clear, Topsy. Ooh, I've got no nip. <laughs> I've no nip head too. <laughs> We're the dancing no nip. <laughs> right, Topsy, you're all done. I'll have to check you again in a couple of days, both of you, just to check there are definitely no more nips, okay? Okay, Mummy. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Good dancing. Right, Topsy, we need to get your hair washed and dried like Tim to get you ready for nursery oh. school, OK? Follow me. <laughs> Mummy washes my hair. And dries and brushes it. And then... came round on their way home from nursery school. Guess what? I'm going to be a little piggy in the play. <laughs> oink, oink, oink! I hope I'm a little piggy too. Oink, oink! Oh, you might be, Topsy. <laughs> Miss Maypole gave Kerry these to give to you both. Inside it tells you what part you've been given. What part have I got, Mummy? <laughs> Am I a little pig? Oh, no, you're a house. A house? A house? Yes, you're a the house. house that the little pigs build. I know that, but it's just not a proper part. Miss Mabel says it's a really good part. You get to play all three houses, Tim. Yes! <laughs> oh, and Topsy, this says that you are the big bad wolf. Yes! Oh, I know how to make us drop. I missed you today, Topsy and Tim. Oh. And that's when Kerry said, <laughs> Will you still come to nursery school when you move house? Will you still come to nursery school when you move house? We will, won't we, Mummy? We want to do all of the nursery plays with Kerry. Oh, of course you can. I don't know what we'd do without our special friend Kerry. And that, said Mummy, was that. Remembering. Can you remember what happened to 
us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we had itchy heads, but can you remember what Mummy used to comb the nits out of our hair? Was it a hairbrush? Or was it a knit comb? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a knit comb. Watch this. <laughs> All clear, Kerry. No knits for you? Yes! Right, Topsy, sit down for me. Let's have a check of your hair. Let me see. <laughs> Yeah, I'm afraid you've got nits like Tim, Topsy. I don't want any nits. Oh, don't worry, Topsy. I had nits when I was your age. Give them out, please, Mummy. We all did, darling. Don't worry. Really? Yeah, and it's how I know I can get rid of them. Now, don't worry, Topsy. Mummy will make everything better. Come Right, me. Topsy and Tim. I need to comb your hair. This is a special knit comb to get rid of nits. Right, okay. time to go, Kerry. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Where are you going, Mummy? To a restaurant, Topsy. Please, can I come? I'll wear my fairy dress. Oh, not tonight, Topsy. Anyway, it's a special night for you two, remember? Oh, yes! Tim and I are swapping bunk beds tonight. Tim's sleeping on the top and I'm sleeping on the bottom bunk for the first time. Mummy! Dad! Look at me! I'm on the bottom bunk! That'll be your babysitter. I'll go. Tim! It's our babysitter! Careful, Topsy! the door before you. <laughs> Miss B. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Hello, Mr Fishbrick. Hey. Hi, Danny, I'll come in. Hello, Hi, Mr Fishbrick. Hello. Hello. Here we are, Danny. Don't forget your stuff. <laughs> Mr Fishwick lives next door. His granddaughter, Danielle, is babysitting for us tonight for the first time. Oh, lovely. Thank you do you like babysitting, Danielle? I love babysitting Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Danielle has done lots of babysitting before, so she'll look after you. <laughs> Thank you for babysitting for us. Hi, Mr Fishwick. Hello there, Joy. <laughs> right, I'll be off. See you later, Danny. Bye, Grandad. <laughs> Bye. 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 I don't want to go to sleep until you're back, Mummy. Oh, Topsy, please go to sleep as usual for Danielle. Will you come and see us on our new bunk beds when you get back, Mummy? Oh, of course I will, Tim. Oh. Danielle, the twins are swapping bunk beds tonight. <gasps> Exciting! I'm on the top and I'm on the bottom! Wow! Now, be good, you two. You've got our number if you need anything, haven't you? Yeah, 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 we'll be fine. Thanks. OK, see you later. Night-night. <laughs> be good. Night-night. Oh, I'm going to sleep until you get back, Mummy! <laughs> Slippers, Danielle. Oh, thank you. They're funny. <laughs> These are my favourite. Look at that. <laughs> okay, up to bed for you two. Aww. We usually have a milky drink before we go to bed and a biscuit. Oh, well, come on then, help me find the milk and biscuits. Here's the milk in the fridge. <sighs> Danielle is nice. She lets Totsie wear her funny slippers. <gasps> Up to bed, I think. Someone looks tired. Not yet. Sometimes Mummy lets us play on the computer before we go to bed, Danielle. Really? Well, I don't think I should put the computer on, but I have got my tablet in my bag. I'll have a look. Topsy, I want to go to bed soon. I want to go on the top bunk. I know, but I want to stay awake until Mummy and Dad get home. <sighs> OK. Does your tablet have games? It has games and stories 
and sometimes I use it for my French homework. What's French? French is the language they speak in a country called France. French people say bonjour to say hello and bon nuit to say good night. <laughs> Up to bed, sleepy heads. Come on, bon nuit. <laughs> bonjour. Bon nuit. I don't think I can get up the stairs in the slippers. Oh, dear. We brush our teeth until Danielle says, stop. Stop. And have a nice rinse. There we go. Lots of water. Well done. There we go, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Went to my nose. Oh, dear. Oh. Your top's all wet, Tim. I think you need dry pyjamas, Tim. Mm. Come on, let's go find some. I think we're in the wardrobe. Danielle can't find any of my dry pyjamas. So Tim has to wear a pyjama top of mine. OK. Who can get into bed the fastest? Me! Hey. There we go. Come on, Tim. <laughs> I won. I think it was a draw. <laughs> it's funny being up here. And down here. <laughs> Can we have a story, please, Danielle? Oh, I'd love to. I've got a great one on my tablet. Ready? Listen. <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a princess. She lived with her mummy, the queen, her daddy the king, and her many, many pets. <laughs> and the prince and the princess got married and, and lived happily ever after. <laughs> bon nuit, Topsy and Tim. Remember, that's good night in French. Bon nuit, Danielle. Bon nuit, Topsy. Can we have a night later on, please? Of course you can, Tim. Bon nuit. Right, Topsy and Tim. Tim, are you still awake? Yes. Are you? Yes, I'm staying awake for Mummy. <laughs> Do you think Mummy and Daddy are nearly home now? Wake up, sleepy twins. In the morning... Wake up, Topsy. Mummy thought I was Topsy. I'm not Topsy. I'm Tim. Oh! Remember, we still got bunk beds. I'm on the top now. <laughs> Why are you wearing Topsy's pink pyjama top? Oh, <laughs> Danielle couldn't find one of mine. My pyjama top got wet. Hello, Mummy. Hello. Did you enjoy swapping bunk beds? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Bonjour, Mummy. <laughs> Bonjour, Mummy. Bonjour. <coughs> you speak French now, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour means hello, Danielle told us. Oh. Can Danielle babysit again for us, please, Mummy? And that's when Mummy said... Really nice. Yes. Danielle said she would be happy to babysit for you two anytime. Yes. Danielle said she would be happy to babysit for you two anytime, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Time to get dressed, twins. And that, said Mummy, was that? <laughs> this one. I maybe, like this one. Maybe not that one, maybe this one. What do you yes, think? yes! This one. That one. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Topsy and I swapped bunk beds. But can you remember who slept on the top bunk? Was it Topsy? Or was it Tim? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, 
The answer is Tim. Watch this. Tim, are you still awake? Yes, are you? Yes, I'm staying awake for Mummy. Do you think Mummy and Daddy are nearly home now? Wake up, sleepy twins. In the morning... Wake up, Topsy. Mummy thought I was Topsy. I'm not Topsy. I'm Tim. Oh! Remember, we swap bunk beds. I'm on the top now. <laughs> Great game! That was good fun. See you soon!